Hey, this is Alan Fenstermaker here with the Pro Wrestling Archives, and um, I wanted to bring this to you guys live because I wanted to talk about transformation and characters in pro wrestling and um, how, like in the pro wrestling business, it's always important to keep your character fresh and uh, keep moving forward. Because the prime example of that, I see how you notice I got uh, Triple H, Hunter Hearst Helmsley, the uh, Greenwich Blue Blood, and then Triple H, the game action figure. Now, like, the main reason I, I was thinking about that is I was thinking about Triple H's transformation as a, uh, as a professional wrestler. And then now, like, the, the boss, the COO of the WWE, and actually calling the shots. And um, I remember when I first started watching wrestling and, uh, and just watching the old uh, stuff from wrestling with Triple H coming out as a Greenwich Blue Blood. And then, like, all prim and proper from Greenwich, uh, high society type. And... Um, and then he started forming the, the faction of uh, D-Generation X with uh, Shawn Michaels where they were cutting edge and just, um, and just taking things, taking the, always uh, constantly like raising the bar and just um, doing all kinds of uh, pretty cool innovative stuff that, uh, that still lives on in wrestling and is like one of the, the best eras of uh, wrestling history. And, and then uh, Triple H, the game, more so the hardcore gimmick, is before Triple H was Hunter Hearst Helmsley was always a technical marvel with his uh, technical wrestling ability. And then when he became the game, he was uh, going more hardcore. And on uh, one of the my uh, highlight matches of him being hardcore was his feud with Cactus Jack that he had. Um, they had some uh, infamous battles and all with the thumbtacks and. Cactus Jack Mick Foley is a hardcore legend in himself, and then to take someone that that you uh, would imagine like a Greenwich Blue Blood or a Technical Marvel, put him in a um, in a match type like that with uh, with someone like Cactus Jack that that folk that's been mainly just all hardcore his whole career, and just uh, seeing how Triple H uh, how he excelled in that environment and even uh, came out victorious and uh, beat Cactus Jack in that environment, and and also like main thing I'm trying to get at is in uh, pro wrestling, it's always important to keep your character fresh and strong. And just because you come in as one thing in wrestling doesn't mean that's the thing that you're going to be at for the rest of your career. Now, like a lot of times it will be remembered as uh, part of your past in wrestling. But um, but you can always keep making your, your uh, character grow and evolve over time. And like the funny thing is, I remember like at the 2300 Arena, like when uh, Paul Heyman was there, like with Evolve Wrestling, Paul Heyman was talking about Evolve and evolution in pro wrestling. And uh, the funny thing is how I say evolution is uh, Triple H was involved in a faction known as Evolution and, uh, and with uh, Ric Flair, Randy Orton, Batista and... Um, those those guys like took to the took to the limit. Now like the only guy right now from Evolution still around is Randy Orton, and uh, Randy Orton right now is a top contender for um for the for the Universal Title against Roman Reigns. Now that he signed to uh, Friday Night SmackDown, and um, just looking at uh, the evolution of uh, each character in, in Evolution and how like they uh, pr how they uh, moved on, and then you got uh, Ric Flair that's now with AEW All Elite Wrestling. Batista, that he's out making movies, following the footsteps of guys like The Rock and John Cena, and um, and then you got and then Randy Orton is gonna. I have a feeling he's gonna take the title and uh, have another another run out of him, and um, and that's uh one thing in wrestling. It's always important to keep your character fresh and keep growing with it. And anyways, that's all I got. I I don't want to keep rambling on and on, but I just wanted to share some points that I had and I came across while I'm doing some cleaning here. Two action figures I had of uh, Triple H, Hunter Hearst Helmsley, and the game Triple H action, action figure. So if you guys have anything you'd like to comment, please comment below and I'd love to hear what you guys think. Until next time, peace out.